Hi everyone, Kieran of Sapien here from Filmstorm Studios and today we're going to start our horror game tutorial series and inside of Unity I have just imported Playmaker which is going to be our main um, game editing solution and we're not really going to need many resources, um, we're going to probably create them as we go um, but yeah we just pretty much get started um, creating a basic horror game framework. So let's just start off with a plane and this is basically just going to be a little test area so we can set up our character movement and just for the purpose of the game we're actually going to make it a first person game just so we can explore some of the, the basic um, things that normally happen inside of a game so I've just created a capsule and I'm going to call this the, the player and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put down a character controller um, that should be pretty good and that, that character controller should be the same size yep that's good double check that in a bit um, now we just want to bring the camera and make sure let's just make it a zero and zero that way we know it's perfect and that and you can see that this is actually forward here so we want to make sure that our camera is going to be facing forward um, as well as wow, our, our, the way our player is going to be facing because this is um, this is the forward direction and we want to make sure that the camera is facing that direction so if you hit make it all zero zero that way you can see this is going that way and this is going that way so that is perfect let's just make sure that I think this is actually in the perfect center and then let's just drag this up and let's let's make the X zero alrighty so now we know that this is perfectly um, in line with our player and now let us just create a new empty game object we're going to call this the player base and make that zero and let's drag our player into that so that way if you click on the player base that's perfectly on the floor and then we want to create a camera Base. So it's going to hold our camera, so make that zero as well, and bring our camera and parent that under it, and then put the camera base in the player base, so that way when we move that all around it's going to go together, so that should be good, and now we want to create another empty object, and we're going to call this the camera follow, so this is going to move the camera to wherever this is, so let's put that under the player, and let's um, grab this position so you can right mouse click say copy component come to the camera follow and say paste values and then you'll see that's up there and then we can bring that down and that should be perfect alrighty so now what we need to do is just just set up the basic movement and input keys so let's go to our player let's create our first FSM and we're going to call this the movement and that popped off my screen so let's um, come into here we might just make a first state that says set variable set variables and you can actually control cl click on the states to create a, the quick finished things and you can um, control click um, outside in the gray area for um, to create the new states so let's just hook this guy in Let's hook this guy in and excellent so now we'll call this one just the the movement we can ex oh, we can expand this uh, later on if we need to and now let us just say get input oh I think it's actually input input or oh, actually axis that's right get axis vector so that's going to be perfect let's let's create a new variable we're going to call this uh, input vector and we want to grab the input magnitude as well let's just create input mag excellent we want to make that relative to the main camera and let's put a simple controller simple move down and let's make the move vector the input vector and now let's see if this guy is going to move alright he's not moving right now 
Let's make this maybe 20. Okay, I think it's because I have this capsule collider here. Let me get rid of that. Alrighty, let's test this. So we've got the 20 in there. Alright, let's press forward. Alright, so you can see that it's um it's working, but the camera is not moving with it. So now let's set up the camera. So let's go to our camera base and let's add an FSM. And we're gonna call this guy follow point. And let's bring up the action browser and we're gonna say move towards. That's the one we want. And we want our game object, or we want this object to move towards the camera follow, um, never to finish, and let's make the max speed like 60, that way it's going pretty quick. And now we should be, yep, we should move around with our character. Now we need to set up the look motion. So let's go back to our camera, the actual camera this time. Let's bring in a new FSM. Let's call look around. Excellent. Now let's bring and create this and call this look around. Lovely. And let's mouse look. Wonderful. And let's make this guy three and three. And you'll notice when we put this, we want to invert our camera because it's a bit it's a bit hard to look around. So let's go and edit project settings input bring down the axes and in mouse Y let's just click invert excellent so now we've got that we can see our body we might want to actually bring the camera down a little bit more so let's uh, bring down this base let's have a look at that that's uh, still a bit high I think actually we want to make this camera, let's just bring this zero, so 2.35, so let's put 2.35 in there, so that way um, our, uh, our follow camera is actually aligned, that's much better, okay. So basically the, the camera base itself, because say the camera was offset, and then the camera base was moving up, so that's why our camera was really high, so that way if you have the camera base at um, the, the main camera at zero, and then the camera base at 2.35, that will give us a really nice um, cinematic view. And for most horror games, we might want to extend our actual um, field of view. So let me just bring this up to about 75. Let's make that 75. And make the background maybe a little. I think it's actually the skybox at the moment. Yeah, the skybox. So. We can we can sort that out later, uh, depending on the look we're we're wanting. So there we go, and you can see it's in um, 16 by 9, which is um, what most uh, monitors are. And because 20 um, does seem a bit much, we can fix that. Um, let me just bring up this camera follow a little bit back to back to here. All right, so you can see that we're we're getting a little bit of clipping on our guy but we can fix that. Let me just bring the camera down here and we can make it, make it about 0 .0, 0 0.1. All right, 0, 0 point, 0 0.1 looks good. So we'll have to change that back when we jump out. Excellent, and let's actually come back into our camera base and I wanna make this about 100 because the character was running away from us. Now let's go to our movement and let's actually slow down our guy. Let's make him about five. It's a horror game. You probably want him to move slow, depending on depending on what you're what you're looking for. All right, so that looks that looks pretty good. All right, you can look up and down. Now let's adjust our lighting because we want to make it a little bit spooky. Let's make it like a a dark darkish color, maybe like a blue. And the thing about horror games, it's mostly actually about the lighting. So you don't want to start with a too harsh a light. And so that way you can actually uh, do stuff with it. So let's come into the light box. And 
let's use this um, frame debugger. 